Janet Donnelly, I am Balmacy Valleys. Um, as you know, we went through our inquest and we are where we are today. But as of today, the MOD still have not issued an apology to the families of the Balmacy families. Um, they have asked, we've asked them to issue a statement, but they won't apologize to the Balmacy families. And as part of the British government, Boris Johnson did deliver, well, he got his secretary of state to make a half-baked apology, um, and that wasn't accepted. Mm. He apologised himself. But the MOD, as part of the British government, mm. and their people murdered our loved ones, and not of an apology, even though we have British soldiers standing up in court and saying, it didn't matter what age you were, if you were on the street in Ballamarty, you were not a legitimate target. Um, it was British soldiers said uh, that our first aiders, they were IRA first aiders, um, and this is stuff we had to listen to in court, um, among a whole lot of other things. Um, but we're never going to get an apology from the MOD. You you might I suppose <laughs> you you might you know because. Uh, you know, as Breeze was saying earlier, you went into an inquest process, not not believing that you were going to get the that that statement about innocence at the at at the conclusion of that process. And it it it's a I suppose an extension of that point that I was making to Kenny that you know the beginning of truth is to remove the lies, whether it's to do within a skillin, whether it's to do with Bala Murphy whether it's to do with 1972 or 2022. I think that's our starting point. And, and Dennis, I'll ask you to say a few words on that, if you don't mind. So, well, I actually agree with Barney. You might. I think that they probably will come with it. Um, someone in Queens, I think, at the moment is doing a whole study about, about, about the effectiveness of apologies. Mm. The difficulty with apologies is that when you get enough of them, they run out of, you know, run out of heart. <laughs> You know, you feel that they've been written by somebody else. Formulic, uh, you know, regret, uh, statements of uh, regret. I think, uh, I yeah. shouldn't, I read one the other day, funny enough, I, I was writing a bit of stuff, and um, my introduction to the Troubles in many ways was a, was a man called Billy McGrenra from Derry, whom I had become friendly with. Billy was a very, very, very nice man. Didn't know him that well, but we liked each other in the short period of time that we got to know each other. And Billy got out of a car one night and uh, was shot by a soldier. But the British, the MOD, issued a statement. Um, actually, Frank Lagan, who was a big mentor of mine, who was the head of the RUC in Derry at the time, um, recommended that uh, he be prosecuted, that the soldier be prosecuted, but it didn't happen. Um, but Billy's family, Billy wasn't married. But Billy's family got an apology from the MOD, I think, about two years ago. So you put that distance. Dragged out distance, 1971 yeah, yeah, of to course, yeah. 19, whatever it was, two years ago, yeah. um, 50 years afterwards, stating very clearly that this was an innocent man, completely mm -hmm. innocent. He just got out of a car and just was shot. Now, it might have been a young shoulder who was nervous and all that type of thing, but he still was shot, you see. So I, I wouldn't give up that they won't do it, but I'm not too sure it's a it's a great bullet at this stage, you know, great yeah. it's a great reconciliation at this stage yeah. because I think it runs out of out of period and out of time. 